a first team player that I imagine will feature a fair bit in the weeks to come with both Brad Guzan and Westberg carrying injuries. So he'll be in goal as we are underway. Atlanta United playing host to Memphis 901 in the Lamar Hunt US Open Cup. You know, he jumped in after Frank DeBoer departed. Rob Valentino took over after Heinz and now Gonzalo Pineda is the current manager. Kick over 21, it's a nice long ball into the air and early chance for Atlanta and it's the opening goal as well. A lovely switch to the back post and it's Tyler Wolf who gets the opener and exactly the sort of start that Atlanta United would have wanted in this third round tie. It's quite a beauty here. Look at the Araujo showing all his quality right there in one ball. And man, that's half a goal right there in Wolf. Finish it, please. That's exactly what he's able to do that time. Early lead here for Atlanta. So yeah, at least keep one dynamic playmaker on the side. You can make 10 changes around him, but he can produce a ball of that quality. Granada in Spain. Nice step and a nice win there for Jeremy Kelly. Kaseyadu. Malloy trying to ward off the trouble, the Irishman. But it seems like it's working just fine here for Atlanta. Araujo using the pace to get beyond Kelly, trying to shape it in towards Wiley, who's making the hard charging run forward. Pitch side photographers as he'll loft it into the area. It's in towards Hamid. Graham Smith was high up there. Hamid didn't get to it. Chance there in the area and still for Miguel Berra, who just couldn't apply the finish. And then last year going out at the first hurdle against Chattanooga FC. Wolf, the son of the Austin FC manager, Josh Wolf. Chance now. Went through the area there from Philip Goodrum. Free kick given there is. Ibarra was caught, and now a yellow card. Been one of the strong sides in USL Championship. It's a poor ball there, and the distribution there from Abraham, and now Kelly spotting Fernando on this right side. Luis Fernando against his former club. It took a deflection on its way through, and Diop handles calmly down to his left. After that, but regardless, they are both having a good game here. Getting into the chances. Hamid with a nice ball out to this right, and Reese Buckmaster can take down. A heavy challenge in there on Lapa and Abraham. Is the culprit here, and I believe he will see further discipline. It'll be a yellow card shown to the Peruvian. Whipped in there by Malloy. In towards that back post, and the chance was there for Goodrum. He just couldn't get enough on it to really threaten Diop. Control there from Wolf. And Lapa, first time in towards Fernando. A nice first touch. Returns for Lapa. And again, two saves from Diop. A massive moment for the Brazilian to perhaps draw Memphis level. And Diop has been up to it. Not an easy save at all for Diop. Just because the ball bounces right in front of him. And then a second chance as Lapa was just falling. And that's the beauty of the cup as well, because that opens up another opportunity for young players. MLS clubs rotate players, then these are often the players we get to see a couple of teenagers on the pitch tonight. For Atlanta and Cobb and in Wiley. Kaseyadu. Barreling down on goal, the first time strike forces another save out of Diop. Bruno Lapa just continues to be denied by the Atlanta goalkeeper a third time. Just beautiful on both sides, honestly. Fernando opens up to the left side. Kisiru again with plenty of room, brings the ball in. That's the way to go if you're Bruno Lapa. Come out on a Wednesday night. Kennesaw State to come support there. Five stripes here as well. Araujo now. His involvement since his minor knock. in behind and Betty couldn't get to it. Onto it here, he hasn't had too much of it so far. A nice cameo for the Spaniard here. Goodrum was caught, he wants to get on with it quickly. Now a yellow card is gonna be shown. Goodrum knowing exactly what he was doing there. And face to face there with Araujo. And Araujo for standing over the free kick is gonna earn the yellow card. Lofted in, Lapa trying to take down, and 
First touch just a bit too heavy. And there is the halftime whistle. Atlanta United getting an early first half goal. The Memphis goalkeeper, Bill Hamid, when he won the Open Cup in 2013. United had a pretty poor regular season, but still won it anyway as we're underway now with these second 45 minutes. Now work down this right for Luis Fernando. A couple of challenges have gone in, but we play on Lapa nearly there to meet the pullback. Wiley, he's got it for Atlanta. Now Berry. Aujou will try and bend it in. It's over the head there of Berry who had stayed forward. Koseyadu there first. Moron Koseyadu, part of that front three. Which is very much the first choice team for Steven Glass. Nicely done there by Lapa to keep it. Kaseyadu. They get the better here of Hernandez. Just has to keep it there. Tried the back heel flick. A decent idea. Challenge one, and now Ward coming through the area. Akeem Ward. The pullback takes a deflection. Fernando letting it run, and the strike from Lapa goes blazing over. A great effort here from Akeem Ward, keeping the composure to bring the ball in. There's a deflection initially. That MLS versus USL match was. Nil-nil for a long time. DC United also on the board. Penalty from Yamil Assad. Ellie Richmond kickers by a goal to nil. Sometimes you just don't have to get to the ball. You just have to be there. And that's exactly what happens at the time. Buckmaster. Woo. Clip from behind there by Tyler Wolf, and it's going to be a yellow card. The game as well with the assist. So it's on his teammates now to close this out and move on to the next round. So I think a good performance from Araujo. I think the same, the same, we can say the same from, uh, from Wiley. I, I think up to the last minute or so, he was able to create opportunities on the left side. Just couldn't catch it. Yeah, similar opportunity a few minutes ago for Bruno Lapa. You know, from Memphis, they just haven't been able to take that shot. Magical stage of the competition where so much is possible. And Memphis draw something back as another cross coming in. Goodrum again, the target on the volley. Malloy, and it came through, and it forced you up to go down and make the save. In, in a few seconds, but you know, and again, it, it's clearing the ball through the middle. That's always trouble. Still scoreless between Columbus and Indy 11. Houston lead through Brooklyn, Reigns away from home against Tampa Bay Rowdies. A little more than an hour gone. And Chicago lead, Chicago Fire lead Chicago House by two goals to nil. Kendall Burks and Katsper Shabilko. Etienne. And Sadich. Rather, Ibarra does stay on, as Sadich did make way during the two changes. Now, Memphis can get going forward here through Fernando. Challenge from Fortune, didn't get enough of the ball. He went for it, he didn't get it, and the Johnny Fortune's gonna have his name taken. Etienne now to run at Buckmaster. That's on to his right, switches out towards Lennon. Pulls it back, a Johnny Fortune! Curl it in towards that top corner. Just put it high and wide of target. Yeah, that's a lot better from, from Atlanta. You know, it's a good cross from Etienne initially on the left side. There's, there's no rush to finish the play, which is good because there was no angle in taking the shot from Lennon. Keeps the ball alive. Shot from Troy just goes all over the bar. There's a player we were just talking about, Chris. Borsak. Borsak comes on for Kaseyadu. Just, uh, you know, it's it's an opportunity, obviously, for him, a youngster in open cop. But you have to take him that challenge against the team of... The full stretch to get back now. And could there be a chance on the break? Fernando in behind into the substitute, Borsak. Into the area, here's Borzak. Takes a deflection and hits side netting. Just enough on it, Diop. Nicely done by Ward to get Memphis going forward. And Lapa further still into Borzak, has two runners with him. Borzak 
in towards Goodrum. Diop off his line there to deal with it. And to the Eric Kelly, didn't catch it. Yes, this could be a moral victory because they play at a high level against Atlanta United, an MLS team. But you have to score. You have been able to create so many chances. Look at that shot right there. Cannot fault too much of their performance so far. Diop has just been up to the challenge. Kelly now, plenty of space for Ward. Plays it in there, the cross is in towards Borzak. The header away. Buckmaster waiting for that second ball. Comes for the former Atlanta United 2 player, Luis Fernando. Again, Ward in space on this left. Ward cutting inside, his strike is a tame one. And handled by Clemente up. Get it away from the danger. Overhead kick there from Hernandez, but not terribly far. Atlanta have got it back. They played it into space, and Goodman has plenty of it. Fernando down the line. Well to find Kelly. In behind, in towards Goodrum. The challenge coming in. Penalty to Memphis 901. In the 95th minute, Burata putting the challenge in. And Philip Goodrum is going to want to take his penalty. And guess what happens? He gets a touch on the ball. The sliding tap. One more save in Atlanta there. Otherwise, got a free soccer here in Atlanta. Here's Philip Goodrum against his former club, and he puts it in the bottom corner. A massive late equalizer. Memphis 901 are still alive in the Open Cup. Six seconds left in the game. It's a cold blooded finish from Goodrum to the left side of the goalkeeper. A lot of confidence in the striker for this Memphis team. And Goodrum sending away, and there is the whistle to draw a conclusion. Regular time here. Late goal for Chattanooga FC. Third level now with Birmingham Legion 1 1. Is there underway with extra time? Great save from Diop in the first 30 seconds of it. Now a chance here to come forward for Atlanta. The curled effort goes over the bar there from Etienne. Pickering helping it on Fernando. He pulls the trigger, he goes for goal, and Diop again! Tipping it over the bar. It's a great strike for the Brazilian. With a great performance in the second half and keeping it up here in added time, goes through the middle with Pickering finding Fernando cuts inside, left footed. Give it away there by Abraham. Now Fernando again into space. Pulled in towards the strike of Pickering, and what a volley it is! And Memphis, in the 100th minute, have taken a lead away from home against Atlanta United. It could be the cup set on again! It's Malloy who opens up to the right side. Fernando with plenty of room, plenty of time. And look at Pickering adjusting the ball coming in. What a finish. If Diop is not able to get to this ball, nobody will. Oh, it's a poor ball there. And Ward nearly stepped forward to get Memphis going, but lost control. Fortune. Flicked on from Chol and now Etienne. 3v2 in the attack for the moment. Etienne in behind it to Machop. Chol, touch around Hamid who goes to ground and makes the save. Because Bill Hamid makes a good read, steps off, limits the angle right there. And Lennon will take. Swung into the area. Rising and winning there was Abram, but he put it over the bar. Question remains. Go to Thiago Almada for the second half of extra time. That's a good question. That's a good question. Give him 15 minutes? I think you have to take the chance, right? I mean, it's an elimination game. And we're underway with the second period of extra time. Memphis 901. Malloy will take it. In that position as it's flicked in behind. In towards Borzak. Low in. And a chance still for Fernando to put the finishing touches on the tie on the volley, Malloy. A goal in New Mexico as Greg Hurst has put New Mexico United ahead by a goal to nil over Phoenix Rising. Gutman 
Nice ball there from Kelly. And first time in behind in towards Pickering. A nice move. Knight Pickering into the area. Torchy making a run to the near post. It's clipped towards the back, though. Borzak's got it. Goes for goal. High and wide. Center. And a yellow card shown late to Hamid. Not within 10 yards. He tries a lofty cross, comes off there at Borzak. Is there another free kick to come? Referee never established the distance, and there is the full time whistle. Memphis 901 have knocked Atlanta United out of the Lamar Hunt US Open Cup. 